Or he's gonna like he's gonna fall or something oh, like that. Oh, he's gonna jump off the side of the building and get caught yeah. somehow. Goodbye, cruel world. Right. <laughs> Misa. Misa is a <laughs> ultimate chaos queen. Ultimate chaos queen. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Sean. Hit that like and that subscribe if you enjoy the video. And also, if you want to get access to next week's episode, you can hit us up on our Patreon. The link is in the description. And let's get on with our Death Note reaction. Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? It is me, Sean Tanktop, and I'm over here at Casa de Tanktop hanging out with my very good friends, Dustin and Morgan Drake. Over there at the Dojo Drake. How you doing over there, Drake? <laughs> just a couple of beakers over here fucking hanging out trying to trying to mind our own business trying to watch this here program death note we are on episode 19 crazy twists have sort of happened new characters new locations new scenarios of this story like when you think about like like the paradigm shift that's gone down in this show in the last like I'd say what, like, like three, four episodes has been yeah. crazy. It's crazy. I will say I, I like it, but what I don't like is there's been no Ryuk, and that's bullshit. Yeah, I miss him. I miss our boy. But the lack of our of 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 uh, of 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 bad boy Riri over there is fucking. And we didn't even get a Rem last our, episode our, either. Yeah, no Shinigami smoke nope. shows. No. No, no death guys. Yeah, and, and we've gotten some we've gotten some teases as far as what's happened, but it hasn't really been revealed. Like as far as Yeah, what, Rem had like, to go get a job in corporate America. I mean yeah. kinda Fucking. sorta, but also Rem is like calling the shots, like topping from the bottom. Like there is Shinigami, but she Rem sold is like, out. She sold out. Do you guys think that, that it's being lent to them? Or cause I think that's what's what because there's a lot of like like rule stuff about like being lent to people, so like I guess that like it's not they don't own it and that's why you maybe they don't have full control. Yeah. yeah, they don't have full yeah, control maybe, of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And then like okay. the and then also we're we're also sort of kind of waiting to see if there's a shoe to drop on Good Boy Light. Yeah. Yeah, he's being less of a sociopath, psychopath, monster. Yeah, like or <laughs> right, and then that kind of is bringing into like. You know, it's made us question like a couple of different things. Like, it, did he kind of memento himself? Like, where he wrote himself a bunch of notes. He'll read it and then he'll figure out a way to get the book back. And then it turned into does, an asshole does again. Does it all come back? Yeah. Or would he read the notes and be like, "Oh my god, I was a monster." And then he turns himself in, but you know, or something like that, like or whatever. Because I mean, I'm wondering if the Death Note has an effect, or or maybe it's not that deep. Maybe. Mm. It, might, it might not be that deep. It could be. I just don't know if this writer is interested in it being that deep. <laughs> no. I mean, it's already interesting in and of itself where Light is chasing after himself. You know what I mean? Like, like you know, which I think is kind of interesting. And also, I think also L's kind of, he's sort of become very disaffected, like, in this, in this thing. Like, he was so fucking convinced he had found his man that he, and, and he still suspects him, but he's kind of, like, having a bit of a, of an existential crisis in a way. He's just having a sugar overload. He's eating his feelings. He's eating his feelings. He is he eating his can't. feelings. And he's always been that type of a guy. Like, yeah. he's always, he's always snacking. He's always doing stuff. But it just seems like, like, I don't know, whatever, fuck it. Like, you know what I mean? And then we got Light telling him, all right, fucking pussy you better strap on your fucking investigating boots because we're fucking getting moving on it or whatever you know what i mean like because we're tired of you and your stinky ass feet bare feet walking around this place put some shoes on you creep put those grippers away i'm ready to fucking get into it you guys yes, want to get going with it let's I do am. it Hell yes. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys for hanging out with us as we go through Death Note. If you guys want to do, ha, get a hold of some early and uncut access, and you don't want to have to wait just to watch the next reaction to Death Note, um, you guys can actually get a hold of it right now by becoming a part of our Patreon by hitting us up, clicking one of the links in the top pinned comment or the description below. That takes you over to our Patreon. You pony up five bucks, only five dollars, which is like less than a fucking cup of coffee, and you know, like like out there, at least as far as I've seen. You're such a oh. sweetie. Thank you, Ryuzaki. Oh. <laughs> oh no, buddy, getting friend zoned. Oh, uh, he got two friends. Of course, any friend of lights is a friend of mine. 
<laughs> Only five bucks, and that'll take, take you over to our Patreon that unlocks all of our stuff on the tune tier, all for a pretty damn fair price. So we hope you guys consider doing that. But if you can't do that and you still want to help us out, you can hit us with a like and subscribe and ring that bell thingy, the little triage, the little trifecta over there um, of support, um, uh, because that shit always helps. It never fucking hurts. It helps people find the channel. And we would appreciate y'all if you would do so. All right, let's fucking get a look at this goddamn thing. Let's see what we're going to let's, let's see what these con artists are going to do. Hi, I'm Troy McClure, con artist. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. It's always just a tiny bit less. This is a human investigation. Stop messing around. Sorry, guys. This is Death Note. Take it seriously. She keeps fucking around. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, everybody's pissing and shitting on this guy. Does he have the Death Note? This might be just Look a, at this. This is a villain origin story. Villain, villain origin story. Ooh, Whoa, what's Matt Suda gonna do? Interesting. Don't tell me you're going home now. You watching TV? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Would you not fuck up your career? Oh my lord. Misa. I mean, I respect her boundaries, but Misa, don't fuck up the bag. Also, she's afraid to like kiss somebody who actually feels human compassion. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can only kiss people who are dead inside. <laughs> yeah, throw that fucking coffee. Disrespect your surroundings! Music is sexy. It's like a like porno music. Cause he's about to fuck everybody. He's about fucking slow stroking this whole time, man. Just the slow stroke. Would I punish evildoers and criminals if I could kill by just Yes. Yes, you would. Is that what I do if I had that sort of power? Yes. This is very interesting. This is very interesting with him. I don't think I'd become a murderer. Yes, you would. You definitely would. Wouldn't do that. No, yep. I'm thinking too hard about this. There's no way. Nope, not thinking hard enough. Detective Heraldo Coyle has just received a private request to investigate and reveal the identity of L. Isn't Heraldo Coyle supposed to be the second greatest detective in the <laughs> Oh my god, the <laughs> second. <laughs> the, fuck? the man who sought out Coyle's services is Masai Kokita, the head of the rights and planning department of the. Oh, so he's, being, he's, he's got hired by the fucking Yotsuba. Oh, shit. It's quite all right. The detective known as Geraldo Coyle is me. <laughs> what? It's simple, really. Three of the greatest detectives in the world. L, Coyle, and Deneuve. They're all actually me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Stephen King. He's got like a bunch of fucking pseudonyms that he goes on, that he writes under. Okay. Ooh. I'm impressed as all Why are you in your pocket? pocket. <laughs> That's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Well, hey, sometimes you need a little pocket sausage, a little pocket strawberry, and it never hurt no one, you know? That sounds like we can't put sausage in this pocket. Come on, man. Why are you looking at this? Maybe I should leave while I still have a chance. No, then there would have been no. What's he gonna do? He's infiltrating Yokuba, Yotuba, Yo, whatever. He oh, he's trying to, he really wants to prove himself here. Yokuba? Is that what is it? Yats? Yatsi? Yeah, yep. We never know how long these confidential meetings will go on for. Can you imagine if it were this one? Look at this guy just sneaking in and getting all the info. That was a little too easy to get into that building. Yeah, yeah. Where's the security? It's like an Andor. It's like they're they're so confident. They're so fucking full of themselves. They don't they don't think that they need it. My dude is just walking up to it. You're just gonna just, walk in there and go, hi. Police here. Slap his dick on the table and just be like, what up, y'all? What are you like, doing? I'm going to listen at this door. What? Bro. We there it is. Kira, they said it. What's that? Let's have Kira get rid of him. I heard it. Bro, you better fucking. Okay, good. Then you better get the fuck out. Bro. Oh. Derp. Oh. Derp. Dop. Good job, bro. I mean, he's creating a lead no matter what. I'm an agent with the Yoshida Productions. I just dropped by to ask if your company would be interested in using our top. Okay. To there you go. As your new spokesperson. Uh, don't definitely don't make that sound after you do your pitch, though. Not so you idiot. 
<laughs> He's doing his... Yeah, yeah. Not as bad. Everybody hates Matsuda. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, wait. What did it, what did it say? If it kill, if it's uh, taken by a thief and the thief kills the owner with it, then the thief gets with it. the book. Ooh. Oh, with oh, you're right. I was thinking beating him to death with a death note. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, just beating him to death with a book. <laughs> Look at him. He's doing a funny voice. Doing his human voice. Well, to be honest, at the moment she's filming a movie nearby. She didn't have time. I hope old girl calls him and be like, where the fuck are you? Like, we're on set. Like, we have to consider that if Matsuda dies, our suspicions about the Yotsuba group will be confirmed. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's <laughs> He's an, an idiot. <laughs> and he'll be missed by no one. Like, <laughs> I mean, honestly. <laughs> He's got literal angel, angel wings on. So you gotta tell you gotta tell your broad yank you gotta your, tell that fucking you gotta tell yank the fucking, your bitch's chain. <laughs> That's a hell of a dress. Good evening. Oh God, what is going on? Hey, is she's sa she's saving the day. Wow, this is heading in a weird direction. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's just go with it. I'm gonna enjoy myself. Go bang some broads for the company. <laughs> right, I guess I'll for go along the with company. Ryosaki and the others will be able to watch us from here. This is my way out. Ooh. Oh yeah! All right. <laughs> Man, we gotta do this a lot more often. <laughs> She's good at trafficking women. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, Where did we like, to get these women? They're her, they're her, ba they're her backup dancers. They're just hanging out. They're just having a good time. She's the Geely Maxwell of Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> you will have to die before they can kill you. What? I want you to listen. You gotta fake your death, there, homie. Tend to choke on a piece of sushi. I don't know. Our company is still expanding, and so is my, so are my pants. I am so drunk. Hi, everyone. Or he's gonna like, he's gonna fall or something. Oh, like he's that. gonna jump off the side of the building and get caught yeah. somehow. Goodbye, cruel world. Right. <laughs> Misa. Misa is a. <laughs> Ultimate chaos queen. Ultimate chaos queen. Fucking dude, it's funny. I do this all the time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is impressive. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. None of us are gonna get laid if you fucking die, okay? Like Death is the ultimate aphrodisiac. Whoa! Yeah! Oh no! Got him. Nice! Got Whoa. him! It's a bag of meat. <laughs> just a, just a, <laughs> a bag of pig meat. <laughs> That's right. Hey, what a catch. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's the guy in a wig. Yeah. Nice. Dude, they're throwing this this plan together like really quickly. This is this is fun. <laughs> don't worry. We'll handle it. Just don't forget about me for your next campaign. <laughs> we were banging whores and a man died. Fan whores and a man was killed. And they're also like, this chick is more on our level and more savage than any of us could possibly be. I mean, he opened up a pretty big lead for him. I mean, like, they already kind of knew it, but whatever. This lady. <laughs> She's like, I literally just got hired to go, oh my God, a dead body. A $2 million advance and $8 million upon completion? Is he out of his mind? That's not all. Even if we don't commission him, we have to pay him $2 million just to keep him sound. It's, that's his that's his take. Yeah, yeah. Even if he does a bad job, he still gets a two mil. Yeah. I just don't want to get wrapped up in this and end up in jail. Uh oh, he's about to fucking get it. Yep. I think you are going to end up dead tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah. 
yeah, that's how you get put in the death note. I mean, that's why there's like that's why there's a bunch of seats empty from this thing. Like they're just whittling it down, you know, like just waiting for this guy to just go. Bleh. All right. Al, are you listening? I'm so disappointed. What the fuck? Fucking A. Nice. Well then, now that everyone's here, let's commence our regular meeting. But if there's supposed to be eight, why are there only seven? Because Rem is the eighth. I bet Rem's in that eighth chair. Yeah, yeah, Hopefully. maybe like can they can they all see Rem? No, only the holder of the death note can see Rem, so And they and they don't they don't know which of them has the death note. Yeah, either, so one they're... of them has it and whoever it is probably sees Rem in that chair and can talk to her. This is getting crazy, man. It's getting pretty crazy. Getting Misa wild. Misa is the number one sex trafficker. Yeah, so long, <laughs> Of Japan, and I'm just... I won't do nude, but I will do escorts. Yeah, but I got some broads that'll do nude. I mean, uh, do we know that they are escorts? Are, they sh are we sure we don't know if they're fucking background dancers or something like that for her music? Probably. Or at her movie. I'm That's probably what they, they look like, yo, yo, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll acquiesce. They look like escorts. Like, and sure. they're it was kind a of thing like where it. it's like you are going to entertain these businessmen. Business totally. It's Hollywood, baby. And even, a, Morgan, and even if no Morgan, sex Morgan, is exchanged. Morgan, it's, just a, it's just the price of doing business, Morgan. I know. Like I'm just like, even, even if no sex. going to go? These producers need to come meet. Meet the talent. It's it might not be sexual favors, but they're definitely doing girlfriend experience. Sure, sure. So that's still, it's escorting. I see. I see no problem with it. If they're into it, but if they're just trying to be, they're trying to be a star. They're trying to be a star, but like she's like Misa. Misa's like, yeah, I'm famous. Well, if you want to be famous like me, you're just gonna have to entertain my gentleman business friends. And that's how they do it in Hollywood. Regardless, she just comes out from these guys' perspective looking like the craziest bitch. Like the craziest like, motherfucker decide, ever. But give me a call. She really like was right, about right. to but die. She's like, like fucking a... do it, bruh. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Seriously. Like, like. And then she's like, oh, yeah, she does this all the time. just remember me. Well, it's like, listen, like, well, I don't know. This would actually look really bad for you guys. So I don't know, you guys should better get out of here. But, but definitely keep my number. Number. Definitely. Here's my personal one. Here, you got my work and my. You have my work and my personal number. Just get at me if you want. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe this company is a big company. I mean, like, it's a. It's really. You know, <laughs> the Amazon of Japan. Amazon of Japan or whatever it is. It's like whatever we can do to get in. To get in good. Listen, she's just playing the game. It seemed like so the way that he did it because I was kind of getting the feeling like a, a disaffectation was about to happen, like where yeah where I thought my, he my, was gonna go the other side. Was like, Fuck these motherfuckers! And he no was gonna one do, has he, believes in me. He was uh, yeah, but but it was more about him being like I'm really gonna try to put myself out there and open up a lead, and he did. And he did. He did. I mean, like you know, they got they got cameras in there and inside of a week. They got cameras. They got confirmation that this shit's all happening. They made contact. Well, they, got, they were gonna like honestly. They were he, gonna if he had no, never no, no, that, done any of that, it would have been like so much easier. The lady, right. the lady would have just snuck in and set up the security shit. Yeah. Cause like they already suspected these people. So they're like, they'll wiretap them. They they wiretap the mom and the daughter for no reason. <laughs> they wiretap people for less. Yeah. You gotta get those toilet cams, man. I'm never gonna be over that ever. And then- Oh, I'm aware, Morgan. <laughs> like, like, like I'm, I'm aware that you're never gonna be over it. <laughs> Everyone involved in that, every person involved in that, straight to the trash can. But it's our trash can. We love the trash can. It's not. It's now. Oh, that's we, our trash can. Now a Get bad time to tell you about the cameras in our bathroom. I will fucking murder oh, okay. you. <laughs> it's for the YouTube channel, Morgan. Just, uh, I right, will murder yeah. you. Oh, Just imagine that Laris installed the cameras, and then it'll be fine. <laughs> he would never. Yes, he would. Yes, <laughs> no, he would. He uh, the, the, like the. Um, I'll say this. I enjoy the when this because because a lot of characters are so laser focused on on having their plans play out and they're doing all this deduction and they're doing all their fucking Sherlock Holmes well if you do this then I'll do this but I anticipated that you did this and I enjoy it when 
the theater of uh, of a of chaotic energy that that occasionally comes in. Misa kind of did it, a, you know, a, a, like a couple of yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know when she f- kind of first came in and it's like, nope, you got to be my fucking boyfriend and bubble. You know, it's just kind of being like, fuck. I told everybody. I like when that shit happens because like there are some times within this show where it's just like this fucking pissing contest of. Who outthunk who? Yeah, and that, two and robots going sometimes at I think it. Of, sometimes I think that that stuff was really was was. Like, I think that led to some good scenes, but I was kind of starting to glaze over a little bit. And I'll take I'll a little take, bit of chaos, like, yeah. A, you know, like like and, and like it was a character beat from him. It's mm-hmm. about how he feels and shit. I mean, like I think this this, and that's also kind of what's also kind of cool, at least from this from this from this pivot that we've kind of had is that, you know, we're seeing a little, a little bit more of an essence of, of who L is, who light, like light is like, I would never do something like that. And like, sorry, buddy, you would apparently like in real fucking quick. I, that's very interesting to me. And, and it's also very interesting to see like L struggling with a sense of purpose. Yeah. Other than eating cupcakes. All the shit that happened in this episode, I never would have guessed. Never. Oh no. And the animation was different too. It was all weird and like as crazy. Yeah, yeah. there's there I think when they move into the into the into like the what do you call it? Like the the building and the skyscraper type shit. It looks a little bit different different for some reason. Like, but yeah, that was hilarious. Just like, oh yeah, fucking do it, like or whatever. It's like, oh, so, oh he died. Well, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It was, it was like, <laughs> well, guys, party's over. We got this. See you later. Yeah, no, it's like it's like, it's like what people like thought that Kesha was like IRL. It's yeah. Like how, it's like how Misa is like kind of just like, yeah, whatever. It's like brush my teeth with fucking Jack Daniels, fucking shit on the floor, whatever. <laughs> like, you know, like, like, you know, like. Duffer Brothers, uh, uh, hire be a goth as Misa Misa. Yeah. Like a fucking insane. Somebody's just a fucking insane person. <laughs> yeah, this one was wild, man. I mean, like, and this is, and this show is, is, is moving, and, like, like in, in all of these very strange ways. And I, and, and I'm into it, though. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time with it, you know, like, whether it's problematic fucking escort potential human trafficking, what I mean, it reads that, it reads that way for sure. There's just these hot women on hand whenever you need to. You know, grease the wheels of business. You know, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. It's good stuff. I'm into it. I'd go to that party. <laughs> I just like finished watching the doc, like that that long series, The Secret to Playboy, and mm. whoo! We just let a lot of things happen. Yeah, it's fine. A lot of shit happened right in front of our faces, and we were like, ah, chill. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what happened at the grotto. I, I didn't let shit happen. Nobody ever invited me. Like w- uh, the show does ask a lot of you. Like where all of a sudden you're sort of like things that I didn't even know were at work within the story. Like I didn't know that she just had a cadre of chicks just hanging out, like you know, all the time and stuff like that. That's kind of why. That's why it's so weird. You know what I mean? Like, and that, or I that's think why they were like, like people from the casting agency. Casting agency. That's what they always call them. I just can't imagine how crazy she looks. To those guys, who's like, yeah, go ahead, do it, like whatever it is, and then he falls. And it's like, all right, well, you got my card, so yeah, I'll talk you to you later. Yeah, got my card. Like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like that was kind of amazing. Like, I sort yeah. of love it. You know what I mean? Don't like, forget I to consider of, me for your commercials. I know. I think it's. I, I. I kind of. I kind of adore it in a certain sense. Like the. Um. Uh. Like how crazy it's. But yeah, I think that. Well, now that they're there, and now that they're kind of taking a look at everything, I, I wonder where, yeah, like who's like if they're if they are worried about the if they are worried about the eighth man about the the ninth man or something like that, like if that's going to be like become like a mystery, like where's that person? Because I just assume that I just assume that like that whole that they would that, that that they would just eventually be just kind of picking some picking themselves off in a certain sense. Like if somebody like the first person on the board who has the sh- a shred of fucking doubt, we're just going to kill him. See ya. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it would seem that way. I mean, it, it, it in a very corporate mindset of just like, which uh, again, if, if a, apparently you know the, the United States has decided that corporations are people, and and if that's true, then all corporations are are psychopaths. And so that that's kind of that's that's an inter- that's an interesting idea. And I wonder if they'll if they'll kind of explore that a little bit. I think that could be that could be really really interesting. So 
I mean, I don't know, man. This shit's getting wilder and wilder, man. We're taking ever since ever since Light's dad told looked into his eyes and said, "I'll, <laughs> I'll see, see you, you in, in hell, fucking hell," and I'm gonna shoot been you in the shot. face. It has been it has been absolutely bonkers, and I've yeah. been kind of and I've been digging it honestly. I mean, Light's been taking that in stride. <laughs> yeah, he's doing pretty good. It doesn't okay seem it. that like he does not have in, like any like bad dreams about that. Where no. I'd be like, I'd be waking up shaking every night. Like, well, I think I think that there is so much. I think that there's so much plot in this yeah. show mm -hmm. and, it, I, I, may, and maybe it's different in in the in the in the manga maybe it's different in the book or something also like he just spent like like two and a half months in like jail yeah he was solitary like solitary confinement yeah solitary confinement kind of like spinning his wheels and then he finally gets out only to be like sh sh executed by his father gonna you literally believe right? that your dad's gonna shoot you in the face but, like you worse I mean? imagine like, you're misa misa your your boyfriend's dad you know like You've just been held Hannibal Lecter style. Yeah, she's in like moved, and she seems to be. Well, that's months. probably why she's like, "Fucking do it! We're all going to hell. Nothing matters." I've looked into the abyss, man. <laughs> it's fine. We're all fucking in hell already. I, I mean, like, I wonder, like, I mean, that, again, that's another shade that they could bring to the thing that they could They're bring not to it, where she's Ghana. like. No, no, no! In the in the in the in the live action, like like if they oh if, yeah in the live action where they're just like that's where she fucking where like, snapped. Well, she's man. like, well, she's like, yeah, I'll stick around and hang. I'll 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 hang out with you guys, but I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly try to degrade and athwart you from the inside. Mm. That'd be interesting. It's like a double agent Misa type thing or yeah. whatever it is. Mm. It could be cool. I mean, like I mean, the, the same way that I think that I mean, there's so many threads that I think that this show is kind of given up in a certain sense in some ways, like Ray Pember's wife, you know, like like you know, kind of be like she that. She had whole, to go like, to her home been, planet. It could have been so fucking interesting having her in the story and then and and having like She didn't want to be around anymore. She just didn't want it. She just did, yeah, exactly. Well the, well, the writer didn't want her to be around anymore. Right. The writer like, didn't know, want her to be around anymore. The show's kind of gone a little off the rail. Not that the show's never been on the rails, because I don't think it has. From from episode two, when we realized how insane light was, we were just like, see, you see that? You see these? There are no. You know, see these rules? There's no, no rules. rules. Like whatever the fuck it's like. They're doing all that type of shit. So like. I, uh, but I don't know. So it'll be interesting to kind of see what it was. And again, I hope we get some more Shin. I I am missing those those Shinigamis. Yeah. I really yeah. Where are. are they? Yeah. I mean, like, we, it, it's like I've been digging the new characters, but I do want like an. I I would love to see an update with with some of them. So hopefully we're gonna have that in the next episode. Um. I mean, like you know, we only got about like I don't know, like 15, 16 more or something like Dang, that. So we're on okay. The back half of this. So we're gonna have to start kind of you know. You know, it's going to be kind of starting to wrap some stuff up pretty soon. So I know I'm excited to do it. We hope that you guys are excited. If you guys are excited, you guys want to watch our our reaction to episode 20 to the next episode right now, and you don't want to wait until it drops on YT. You can hit us up on our Patreon. Um, the links to the Patreon are either in the top pinned comment or the description below. You can go on heading on over to our head, like you click either one of those that takes you over to our Patreon. You pony up five dollars at the animation tier, the tune tier, and that gets you early and uncut access to all of our animated and tune coverage including including this here death note and all of the other things that we that we're doing we're covering that as far as animated shows are concerned you get so you get like i don't know like two or three shows early access every week plus you also get exclusive podcasts you get fucking movie commentary tracks you get a ton of stuff over there for a pretty damn fair price so we hope you guys consider doing that but if you can't do that and you still want to help us out you can hit us with a like and subscribe because that shit always helps it never fucking hurts we appreciate you guys for hanging out with us and we'll check y'all later